part we will see sticky forms what is mean by actually the sticky forms see sometimes when we are entering the data in the form and if any field is remaining or any field is wrong at that time when we are clicking on the submit the form is not going to submit okay so at that time we are refreshing the site and we are entering the data again at that time you need to enter the all the data again okay so we are using the sticky forms concept here okay sticky forms is a technique in which the result of query is accompanied by a search form whose default values are those of the previous query okay so data will remain stick to this form when we are using the concept of sticky form so let's see the one example for the thing here i am using the sticky form see sticky forms in php here i am using the uh, php if dollar server here i am using the super global variable dollar server request method is port here i am using the request method equal equal to see here is a triple equals to port i am using the port dollar name equals to email here i want the email from the user okay so here i am taking the email if empty if this empty dollar post name see here if empty dollar post name if the name is empty here then display message dollar name error name should be filled else else what dollar name equals to trim html special char dollar post name if the name is available then do this trimming operation here html special char dollar post name see close this else if now check for the email see in the one form i want the name and email okay see like this i want the name and email like this and then i will click on a submit button then if empty dollar post email i want now email here dollar email error equals to please add your email if the email is not there we will ask for the email again else else we will use the trim operation dollar email trim html special char dollar post name here okay we will consider this data we will take this data from the html form this name and email okay see after this here here you need to uh, use the html head and title of the my form is php form then style type here i am using the style type then color red end of style see head and uh, here is the end of this head and body begins from here here inside the body i am using the form method equals to post and action see action is blank now because it will be here only name input type text name equals to name see we want this name okay we want this name value equals to value is what see name is this but what is the value value is php if is a set see here we are using the function is a set is set or not dollar name then echo dollar name here we are using the concept see php if is set dollar name echo dollar name span here we are uh, grouping the uh, this set uh, for the style span class equals to error php if is set dollar name error echo dollar name error and then end of span here if uh, the uh, specific box is blank or there is no data show the error and this error will be like this okay this error show the error so to give the style to this error we are using the span email input type equals to text name equals to email value equals to value equals to again you need to use the same php if is set email echo email okay echo here email then again use the span class equals to error then php if is set dollar email error then see here is a name error similarly we 
we are using the same coding here. Just we are replacing the name with the email. Okay, and then input type equals to submit, name equals to submit, end of form, end of body, and end of HTML. Let's see how to execute this. See, here, here is the same coding. I am using this online compiler. So, here I am executing this code, PHP. Dollar request equal equals to post. Then dollar name equals to email. Same code is here. See, here you will get the clear idea when you are uh, using the any online compiler. So, here you can check your uh, code uh, very nicely and easily. See, here you will get the, all the HTML tag in colorful manner. So, you can use this uh, tutorial dot. Uh, this different website or you can use the uh, online any PHP compiler. Okay, so see after that I'm entering here the name. Suppose I'm entering the my name is here. Okay, and email my email address is suppose I'm entering this my address. Okay, so just I'm clicking on a submit. When I'm clicking on a submit, see see this name will be remain as it is. See when I'm clicking on this. A name will be remain as it is when I am clicking on the submit also. But when you are using the normal form, when you are not using the sticky form, this data will disappear. See, if I am keeping this field blank and when I am clicking on the submit, there is an error, name should be filled. Okay, you will get the error, name should be filled. Suppose I am filling the my name, but I am not uh, entering the email address, then at that time you will get the error. Please add your email. Okay. And when you are clicking, uh, uh, when you are not entering the any data and just clicking on a submit, you will get the error name should be filled. Please add your email. Okay. So where is this? See this. If this empty, if empty dollar post, if this block is empty, you will get the error name should be filled. See this error. And for this, you have given the color also. See this is in a red color. This data, this label, this name value and email is in the black, but this is in the red color because you, here you have given this uh, span. You, here you can you have given this name error, echo name error, and for this you apply the uh, styles also. Where is this uh, styles for this? See here you have given this style. Style type text public CSS dot error color color red. Here we have given the style and that style is used inside the span to display the message in a red color. So in this way you can check, see, you can change the here the message and you can check, suppose, uh, please enter, uh, please add your email or you can change the data here. You can delete it and you can edit it. Okay, so in this way you can try this, um, uh, you can uh, try the online compiler and you can just uh, check here for the code. So you will get the clear idea how actually we are using the sticky form. See, sticky form means what? The data will remain, means the filled data will be remain as it is while you are submitting or uh, clicking the submit button. Means जब भी आप यहाँ पे submit button पे click करते हो, फिर भी वो data यहाँ पे appear होगा. But when you are using the normal form, उस time पे वहाँ पे data ऐसे blank रहेगा. Okay? So this is the concept of sticky forms in PHP in internet programming. Thank you.